Okay, so does everyone know the 16-year-old story? No. Alright, so the, fir the first convention I ever went to was like a baptism by fire. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. It was anime detour in Minneapolis. Oh, I Wait. heard this one. Yes. And uh, first night there, Kyle Aver is showing me around the convention. And it's like 2.30 in the morning. Uh, we've already put on. I could have been because she is. And uh, we're wandering around, get to the con suite at like 2.30 and there's a wicked game of Magic the Gathering going on. <laughs> which I know that much about. Um, so we're sitting there trying to watch this game go down. There's no way that's happening. And uh, we're sitting there, and we've had a couple drinks, so my reaction time is a little off, and then all of a sudden, out of my perif, this pair of jean-covered legs comes flying into my line of view, and boom, sits on my lap, grabs my face, and just plants one on me. Like, picked her up, put her on the table, and I was like, what, what, what are you doing? I looked down at the, the, the convention had three colored badges. Blue for like, you know, it was like 21 and over, orange if you were 18 up, and yellow. Yellow badge. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? He's like, I was 16. <laughs> I was like, I'm out. <laughs> Maybe she was just a level 16. <laughs> Our level was 9,000. Level 16 kisser. magic missiles in your direction. <laughs> Alright, I'll tell this one. Can I be heard? Yes. Uh, I was at a convention, I won't say which one, uh, but I was by the swimming pool, and some Hughes fan decided to uh, flash me. <laughs> That's not the interesting thing, though. Uh, that her friend was sitting next to her, and you could tell by the look on his face he'd never... Uh, seen her that way <laughs> and i said how long have you known her and he said five years i said have you ever seen this and he goes no i said then you owe me <laughs> someday i'm going to ask you for a favor and you are not going to hesitate before doing it and he said yes sir <laughs> all right frightening and awesome Yes, in the middle, because you look like your arm's about to hurt. And uh, he would uh, video so I could watch the whole thing so I knew what was going on. And he took a lot of time to make sure that you all cried. Did everybody cry? Yes! yes. 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 I like the episode where you get to meet Armstrong's sister. <laughs> Yes, on the left, and so you can say, hey, I got to ask the question, not you. <laughs> Heck, yes we are. This show is so fun. We're oh my gosh, now. we're totally excited. Yeah. 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 Well, uh, I'm trying to stick as close to the original Japanese as possible on, on the voice on this one. And he screams quite a lot! Uh, but that's Usopp's voice uh, when he's really uh, projecting. <laughs> um, let's see. A goat? Was that a goat? Hey, where'd it go? Oh man, I was finally gonna get to see a goat. <laughs> <laughs> you have to do your dollar line. <laughs> <laughs> it's every line is the dollar line. Oh, that's a whole story. Tell it. Well, first you guys have to do your voices. Yeah, it's, just talk, it's, basically. <laughs> Zora's a, a really a huge stretch oh, character for me. Uh, but I can tell you that I'm trying to play him as high in my voice as I can, so he doesn't sound like Piccolo or anything like that. Yeah. So, he, um, yeah, I'd say he's somewhere, like, 
kind of a really tough Yamcha, if anything. Like, uh, <laughs> if that's possible. <laughs> but he, he just basically talks like, is that, like the way I'm talking right now. Luffy, don't do that. Thanks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've only done like six episodes and I've snored 25 times. <laughs>